Uh, hello everyone, uh, here we are for uh, the next part of this uh, tutorial uh, and it will be about creating grass and all uh, the daker, okay? So I'm now uh, exit the isolation mode by and hiding all. Alright, uh, that's it. So uh, for uh, now uh, we're gonna focus uh, especially on uh, the grass. We're gonna go here and um, uh, press H pick all of these OK and then isolate selection what Oh, sorry, I did a mistake. And hide unselected. That's it. So, here we have our grass. So, how do we gonna deal with that? Okay. So, it it's easy. What we're gonna do is simply uh, use... Uh, a plugin or a material called the multi texture. So uh, I give you the site web where you can find it. So just go to cgsource.com, uh, multi texture uh, .php, and you have to be logged in to download the multi texture uh, plugin or map so you can use it uh, or follow the tutorial so it's very accurate when creating for example here uh, some uh, some floor or uh, rocks etc so uh, i show you the minute i actually used to create this uh, grass so i select all my grass or before that just go, press m to open the material editor click on standard then go to V-Ray to side in material. I'll discard the old material. Click on front. And then go to choose V-Ray material. And on the V-Ray material, on the diffuse, choose multi-texture. On the multi-texture, click open files. Uh, and um, let's search for our textures. So here they are. So here they are, uh, as you can see. Um, uh, now, what I'm going to do is simply select these three blades. Uh, I don't really remember from where I got them, but you can uh, search for grass blade. Uh, you, you will easily find uh, thousands of textures. So here I loaded all my textures. Uh, and as you can see, uh, here, uh, they've been loaded. Uh, I'll apply it to all my grass type here press M again and assign material and show uh, shaded you can zoom in to see if it's correctly mapped or not if not you can simply add here uh, a UVW map uh, by type of box and just uh, adjust it So here it is. On it's uh, practically correctly mapped. So I had to pause to pause the video because uh, my computer is uh, uh, not uh, very fast. So I could not modify. So I searched this kind of effect. So we got some variation here, uh, as you can see, etc. Uh, so that's uh, the main idea I was searching for. Uh, in your, if you are in front of your camera, you'll not notice uh, anything. Okay, so press again uh, P to go to perspective view, and here is uh, our pitch. So press M again to go back to material editor, and here you can tweak some of uh, the settings. Uh, you can uh, play with the blur, uh, take it down. Okay, so we have some extra details. Uh, the gamma uh, random here you have some U, some saturation you can just random that so we don't have the the feeling that it's paint the same you can uh, bring down the overall saturation 
if it's too much green uh, you can also play with the U but some if you want to create some uh, some ovni uh, grass this is your problem <laughs> so here for example I can completely change the over color of uh, my grass okay so really yeah, it's really useful when creating this kind of thing so you don't pass uh, hours on uh, on settings to get uh, so this uh, variation here it's looking good I think uh, uh, maybe take it a bit a little bit make it a little bit green yes alright uh, here we've got our texture for uh, uh, for our grass now let's apply the translucency map okay so um, go back uh, to the here translucency uh, and click on on and go to bitmap as it will be the same for everything so uh, I'm not just search sorry not mud uh, grass oops sorry for that grass here and all formats why well, it does not display anything grass okay here is it I'll pick this one as my uh, translucency map okay okay uh, it's done uh, yes also let's add some reflections to our uh, grass uh, giving a wet effect also okay activate Fresnel, Fresnel reflections and put the reflection glossiness to 0.6 so we spread light uh, in such way that's I think uh, almost good now if we go back to our camera you can see that it's very dense okay but uh, if maybe if we render it we're gonna see some holes etc so I want to prevent that and let's do and hide by name and and hide our first plane here which is this one here and let's just apply a grass texture to it okay uh, uh, what I want to do actually is simply um, click here uh, click here and go to multi texture and here also I want to apply some uh, different grass models as you can see so we've got this little variation here apply it and show texture uh, here okay Maybe map it. I want some randomness, uh, so I want it to be bigger. Okay. And as you can see, our uh, our scary, our multi texture is working fine. As you can see. Here we have it. Uh, you can also move your plane so that. You got some random, just like that, maybe like this. Okay, uh, all right. I get down a little bit the the blur and add some random saturation. Okay. Yes, so we'll go back into our camera. Uh, we are getting to our final decor. So uh, now the other trick is uh, our this plane here. So I'm gonna just hide these two mushrooms. Right, so this plane here. So what we're gonna do for this plane is that we're gonna fake uh, our environment and what I want to do is apply a high grass texture to it this is the main idea okay so uh, let's do this uh, I think it's gonna be very easy and quick so very material uh, click here and bitmap and search for it I think it's here okay uh, all formats 
uh, where is it? Sorry, all formats. Yeah, here it is. So this uh, texture I got it from uh, first web designer, uh, uh, which is actually a, a site for designers. You can just search here for high grass, and uh, it's a wallpaper actually. But I think it fits uh, our needs, so I'm gonna just apply it to this one here and show it. Uh, maybe uh, uh, first, I'm not just add the UVW map like that, uh, just to have the correct orientation here. Rotation, activate the snap, I rotate it by 90 by 90 degrees. Okay, uh, but like that, it's too high. Okay, uh, it's too big. Sorry. So we need to activate tiling five, five, and not 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 that much here. I want it to be one. Uh, sorry, five, uh, two maybe. Yes, something like that. Okay. Uh, yes, something like that. Pretty nice. <laughs> So, uh, I want just to decelerate it a bit. So let's um, uh, clear this one here and here. I'm gonna apply. Um, where is it? Where is it? Uh, mm, I think it's up. Uh, yeah, here. Color correction. And here we'll apply our uh, map which is this one here and show okay so now uh, let's just um, play with saturation I want to get it down uh, so it fits uh, our uh, Yes, like that. All right, here we have it. Uh, our uh, decor is, uh, I think, done. We don't have to lose any time, uh, more time uh, tweaking this one because we're gonna use Z depth to uh, to focus on our mushrooms and hide all. And you see that we got our two mushrooms right here. Uh, I think I'm gonna just rescale these two here a bit. Oh, there, that's perfect. Yeah. Okay, so I'm now now uh, apply the UV uh, the materials to this one and the UVs. I'm now come to this one here, uh, copy the unwrap and paste it here, and then press M and apply this material to the little mushroom here. As you can see, uh, it's looking good. Mm, that's all right, I think. Uh, we did not forget anything. Uh, the dacre, uh, the grass, uh, everything is looking pretty, pretty much good. Um, uh, maybe do some rotation here, or I think it's not necessary. Just to see. Yes, here we have the. The, um, how can we say that the the seam that is that is visible like that I think it's all right here oh nice uh, back to view and now we can attack the third part of our tutorial which is lightning and rendering settings so see you the next part.